Hey guys, Brock Shield here, picking back up where we left off with the Holy Bible, King James Version, the book of the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 45. Moreover, when you shall divide by lot the inheritance of the land for inheritance, you shall offer an oblation unto the Lord and holy portion of the land. The, the length shall be the length of five and twenty thousand reeds, and the breadth shall be ten thousand. This shall be holy in all the borders thereof round about. Of this there shall be for the sanctuary five hundred in length. With five hundred cubits in breadth square round about, and fifty cubits round about for the suburbs thereof, and of this measure shalt thou measure the length of five and twenty thousand, and the breadth of ten thousand, and in it shall be the sanctuary and the most holy place. The holy portion of the land shall be for the priests and uh, the ministers of the sanctuary, which shall come near and, uh, to the minister unto the Lord, and shall be a place for their houses and holy place for the sanctuary. And the five and twenty thousand of length and the ten thousand of breadth shall also the Levites, the ministers of the house, have for them for themselves for a possession of twenty chambers, and you shall appoint the possession of the, the city five thousand broad, and five and twenty thousand long over against the oblation of the holy portion. It shall be for the whole house of Israel. And a portion shall be for the prince on the other on, on the one side and on the other side of the oblation of the holy portion, and on and of the possession of the city, before the oblation of the holy portion, and before the possession of the city, from the west side westward, and from the east side eastward, and the length shall be over against one of the portions from the west border unto the east border. The land, uh, in the land shall be his possession in Israel, and my princes shall no more oppress my people. And the land uh, of the, the the rest of the land shall they give to the house of Israel according to their tribes. Thus saith the Lord God, Let it suffice you, O princes of Israel, remove violence and spoil and execute judgment and justice. Take away your exactions from my people, saith the Lord God. Ye shall have just balances and a just ifah and a just bath. The ephah and the bath shall be of one measure, that the bath may contain the tenth part of an homer, and the ephah the tenth part of an homer, the measure thereof shall be after the homer. And the shekel shall be twenty garas, twenty shekels, five and twenty shekels, fifteen shekels shall be your manna. This is the oblation that ye shall offer, the fixed part of an ephah of an homer of wheat, and ye shall give the sixth part of an ephah of an homer of barley. Concerning the ordinance of oil, the bath of oil, ye shall offer the tenth part of a bath out of the core, out of the core which is an homer of ten baths, for the ten baths are an homer, and one lamb of out of the flock, out of two hundred, out of the fat pastures of Israel, for a meat offering, and for a burnt offering, and for peace offerings, to make reconciliation for them, saith the Lord God. All the people of the land shall give this oblation for the prince of Israel, and it shall be the prince's part uh, to give the burnt offerings, and meat offerings, and to drink, and drink offerings, in the feasts, and in the new moons, and in the sabbaths, in all solemnities of the house of Israel. He shall prepare the sin offering, and the meat offering, and the burnt offering, and the peace offerings, to make reconciliation for the house of Israel. Thus saith the Lord God, In the first month, in the first day of the month, thou shalt take a young bullock without blemish, and cleanse the sanctuary. And the priest shall take out the blood of the sin offering, and put it upon the posts of the house, and upon the four corners of the settle of the altar, and upon the posts of the gate of the inner court. And thou shalt do the seventh day of the month for every one that earth, earth, and for them, and for him that is simple, so shall ye reconcile the house. In the, in the first month, in the fourteenth day of the month, you shall have the Passover. A feast of seven days, unleavened bread shall be eaten, and upon that day shall the prince bear for himself and for all the people of the land a bullock for a sin offering. And seven days of the feast, he shall prepare a burnt offering to the Lord, seven bullocks and seven rams without, blem without blemish daily the seven days, as a kid of goats daily for a sin offering. He shall prepare a meat offering of an ephah for a bullock, and an ephah for a ram, and a hin of oil for an ephah. In the seventh month, and the fifteenth day of the month, shall he do in the feast of seven days, according to the sin offering, according to the burnt offering, and according to the meat offering, and according to the oil.